Did you ever rat on anybody in your family? <clears throat> no. I wouldn't even write on friends. I was the victim of an informant type thing, so I will never do that ever. Was it a white boy Rick? It was kind of a white boy Rick situation. I think when I get out of prison, I get killed. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody rat you out to the cops? Yeah. For what? Um, uh, drugs. What drugs? Uh, it was uh, ecstasy and uh, psilocybin mushrooms. I don't know how I'd even tell a cop, this guy's got mushrooms. What else does he have? Steak sauce? <laughs> Who gives a fuck who's got mushrooms? I think in my uh, my school hearing, I tried to say it was cooking mushrooms. Yes, of course. <laughs> I was like, is that, I had a lawyer with me. I said, hey, is that um, is that uh, officer who was arresting trained to identify drugs? And I was like, no. I'm like, well, it was fucking, it was cooking mushrooms then. You said, why didn't you say it was cooking mushrooms? <laughs> Rather than giving away the thing you were going to say. <laughs> I had to prove that that guy. But you know, how would you know what mushrooms you got? You're a fucking guy who's, Went to Kennett Square. How do you know what came back with you? I don't understand how they even fucking nailed you on mushrooms. Um, all right, so this is this is the whole convoluted story. His convoluted as si simply as possible. You shouldn't <laughs> call your own fucking story convoluted. <laughs> I don't think you're very aware what the, that means. So uh, maybe some guy bought some mushrooms in my apartment, and then he leaves my apartment, and then goes down to the city uh, to go buy more drugs, and then that guy um, leaves my We'll leave some mushrooms in his apartment. Can I just say this? Yeah. Is this guy you? No, I swear to God, it's not me. <laughs> this is a fight club type thing. <laughs> guy, the, the dude who uh, bought the mushrooms in my apartment, um, parks his car illegally, leaves the mushrooms in there, goes buys more drugs, goes to the precinct to pick up his drug, pick up his car, and they find the drugs that he bought, and then they're like, "Where the mushrooms come from?" And they gave him my name down the city, and then fucking cops and all. So all those shit. things happen though. All things that happen. Yeah. So it's not like you can get mad at him. No, I can't be mad at him for fucking not saying my fucking name. You ever get even with him? Um, I thought about it. Um, I thought about uh, stealing his car, mm -hmm. uh, but I didn't. I said, I like him. I'll just put this bullshit. Can I say this? It ain't over. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, you both right. are still on the fucking planet. <laughs> and I always like to say revenge is a meal best served cold. <laughs> You know what else is? What is? Gaspacho. Mm. Serve it cold. Don't fucking heat it up. Mm, this gazpacho is as fucking cold as revenge. Delish. <laughs> this fusion? Mm? <laughs> Using revenge and gazpacho? Okay. Now I get it. I didn't know where you were going with it. I was like, well, no. Of course it isn't. But yeah. Now that you're putting revenge into it? Yes. Yes, Chris, it is. <laughs> Well, you know, they've got this thing now that if, like, let's suppose me and you were doing drugs, right? Okay. <laughs> and I died while we were doing the drugs. Yeah. You would be arrested for murder. But what? Yeah. No. Yeah, that's happening again. And this keeps people from dropping off their friends at the hospital when they OD. <laughs> They're just like, hey, he's fucking OD and let's just bury him and get out of here because this is a murder rap. I think he's still breathing. I hate when somebody, like, they're saying, oh, yeah, she's addicted to drugs. She's been running around with a really dark, shitty fucking, you know, crew. And I'm like, well, it's because she's dark and shitty. You know what I mean? <laughs> she's not the shining light in the middle of all these drug addicts. You're a fucking shitty drug addict, too. She likes hanging out with them. Yeah, they, they have a lot in common. They seem kind of fun on the dark side, though. The term dark side came from Star Wars. <laughs> you have a live read for me to read? Yes, I do. Why? Ba -ba 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 I want to ask you something. Uh, Earl, you've you're got to be excited about your jets, right? Cautiously optimistic about the jets. And, Chris, you're cautiously pessimistic about your Giants, right? <laughs> Very much so. Let me ask you guys something. Do you want to catch all the NFL live action highlights and touchdowns every Sunday afternoon? Want all that glorious football action without paying extra? Dish has heard your need for more NFL football and a bill that doesn't change. That's why Dish gives you a two-year price guarantee and one season of NFL Red Zone from NFL Network at no additional cost. 
It's about time you get all the Sunday afternoon football you want without paying more. Dish listens. It's how they stay tuned into you. Two year price guarantee applies to court programming and certain fees. Requires credit qualification and two year commitment. NFL Red Zone and multi sport package included with packages starting at sixty nine ninety nine at no additional cost through January 2nd of 19. Other restrictions apply. To learn more, dial 1-844-CALL-DISH, visit dish.com, or find a local retailer near you. So now do you guys get it? Now I understand. Now I know I can watch you know all my Giants games and the highlights. Yeah, you can watch all the San Francisco Giants. That's all you should be caring about. Greg and PA. So Stephen King made a good point. He said that basically there's no such thing as spoilers because you don't watch a movie or read a book to find out how it ends or else you just skip to the end and see how it ends. Like, this fucking idiot Vito, he'd say, like, oh, you don't watch Saving Private Ryan because you, you know that Hitler loses. Or some, he's a fucking idiot. All right, let's bring Vito in and, and give him the And Steven. you know what else? Yeah. Whoever, whoever writes the taglines on the serious thing here is an idiot, too, because they wrote... Does spoilers mo- ruins movies or some fucking idiot? What the fuck? Who wrote that? That was Earl. Earl did. He's a you write does Reason. spoilers? I meant to write do spoilers. Do's? Do, do, do. Do, do? do? Just erase that and just write I'm a maroon. All right, you get the Stephen King thing? You don't watch movies just for the ending. But that's bullshit because... It's all like things are Wait built a minute. on. Wait, who's created more, you or Stephen King? Stephen King's created a fair amount of stuff, but the fact is, anticipation and tense. I made this mistake. <laughs> Fuck tense. Tension. Tension. <laughs> Tension is a huge part of building a story, and you're building. You're using all that energy. If you spoil something, you're taking away a big part of the story. You want to build tension. You want to build suspense. <laughs> you don't build it. They do. You're just watching. But if you You're know... It's like a fucking fly on the wall. If you know what happens, it takes away that tension. You need that. Not really. The tension is, did was the spoiler guy even telling me the truth? You don't know. Maybe I made up that thing about when he gets out, right? And gets shot. Maybe. I don't think you said the get shot thing before. Well, how else are they going to kill him? I don't know. Poison? No, it's because he's What poison. is this, Russia? <laughs> Anybody uses poison as a fucking moron. <laughs> so you don't know, right? It feels like you guys have made it very clear that there's a lot of stuff in this movie that I'm not going to be surprised Just by. Just go see it. You're going to like it. Go see it. See what surprises you and what got spoiled for you. That's the suspense. But I'm just going to know Earl spoiled the whole movie for me and ruined it. No, you're not. You're going to get caught up in the Matthew McConaughey role and you're going to love it. He's a secondary character, it seems. Seems. You consider a fucking father to be a secondary character? A father who ends up getting a heart attack? Come on. At the trial. (laughs) Why'd you have to add that last part in? I thought you wanted to know. You were looking at me like, what? Yeah. I guess it's my fault. This movie sounds awesome. No, it stinks. It's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> Huge casting. and Why is there 80s music playing during a 70s fucking thing? This is it's 70s? Seven, it takes place in the 70s. I, would have, I thought this whole time was an 80s movie from the music no, of the trailer. No. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> They're playing move music that came out 10 years later. I'm going to see it. I'm not going to be happy about it. Oh, no, it's very sad when his mom dies. Why would you be fucking happy about it? So he's a fucking orphan now. No. No. Mm -mm. Tell me. See? (laughs) See? (laughs) He finds out those aren't his real parents. Okay. His real father is Carlos Escobar. So he got fucking involved in this. And he didn't realize he ended up ratting on his own dad. So you tell, like, your spoilers... Like you, you give you build tension, you build suspense. Thank you. <laughs> Thank excited you. to hear them. Earl just yelled shit out at That's me. That's fucking office. racist, dude. What you're saying? <laughs> you're <laughs> saying that they don't have the ability to fucking build the same kind of tension. No, I just think you just built some better tension than Earl did personally by just bluntly yelling at me. Earl, let me ask you this: 
Does it annoy you that Italians became white people when they didn't used to be? Yeah, how did that flip happen? I don't <laughs> know. But it's got to give the Puerto Ricans and Dominicans a lot to think about. <laughs> Ba, 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 ba. Still one of the greatest scenes ever. <laughs> a true, was it true romance? Oh, what's that? Uh, walking and uh... oh, dude, don't bring up a racist fucking scene like that. I don't. I can't even watch it. I refuse to watch it. I won't even eat eggplant. <laughs> <laughs> what's the last movie you saw in theaters? Um, no, I meant on the side of a wall. You and your friends just rented a projector. Uh, Black Klansman. How was it for you? I, I loved it. The middle uh, slowed down a little, but overall, like it was great. Doesn't the middle slow down in every movie? <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's the middle. <laughs> but no, it was great. I I definitely would recommend it. To who? You guys. I'll wait until it comes to TBS. <laughs> I don't think that's going to make TBS. I was watching Clockers last night. A TBS? As a spike. What a fucking movie. The, I think it's one of his most underrated. I agree. I mean, because... <laughs> Talk about Dengen. I was very dense watching this. Like Harvey Keitel and... Uh, yeah. I think Isaiah Washington's in it and... It's a great cast. You like if uh, Wikipedia spoke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm like I'm like I like casts. I like liner notes. I like I like information about them. You like fucking spoiling movies for people. I don't think I spoiled anything. You did. You <laughs> just stared at me. You spoil it. You think your friendship is over with Earl? You're fucking close. Fucking. <laughs> You guys are having sex? No, we're not having sex. You didn't, didn't bring me in. It just I don't see myself being friends with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you don't see your. I don't see myself being friends with somebody. Someone is black. No, you know. <laughs> That's what he's saying, Rod. That's what I'm getting from Chris. It has he's nothing, no rat. There's nothing to do with skin color. It's just fucking selfishness. Jesus, that's that, that was not selfish How at all. How long has been did. since you dated a woman? Because I think that you got a little backup and you're just cranky. Just all just stuck yeah. up there. All your fucking all your anger comes from jizz. It's been a while. It's been three years. You want me to fu really? Yeah, it's been three years since I was in a committed relationship. You gotta get it. I thought you were gonna say I was in a vagina. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what she's doing now. I wish her the best in her future endeavors. Future current endeavors if you found out that she had cancer would you want to go visit her I mean, probably i'd probably go say hi yeah so why not visit her when she's fucking healthy no interest you know in once i once there's a breakup i never want to see the person again it's very healthy that way not even at the funeral no Are they, is she dead to you yeah dead to me it's not even like bitterness or anything it's just i don't i don't it's like a friendly dead to you yeah like, like if a friend died like she died <laughs> and i'm like oh she was a nice person if a friend of yours dies do you never bring them up again you never speak about them no i never think it never go to their gravestone one of my um hobbies is speaking ill of the dead <laughs> <laughs> they can't say anything back to you is that all you worry about? <laughs> Look at this fucking thing coming in. I'm telling you, I think the weather people are right about this. I think Sam Champion is fucking dead on. Look at that. Look at all that water in the storm hasn't even shown up yet. This guy's going out to the beach. As you can see, there's waves out here. No one's even like in the water and like they're yelling at him. That's always my favorite. Some guy tries to surf the fucking hurricane. Mm -mm -mm. Look at him, happy as fuck. One thing I'd do if I was a weather guy and I was the only one down there, I'd start breaking in the houses and see what I could find. <laughs> You're not going to miss anything. You think you could break into a house and walk around somebody else's house? 
I think it's tougher than a rape. I really do. I think the fact of being in someone's house feels really fucking shitty. I feel weird. I, but I think I got, could, if I had to, yeah, I could break into a house, fucking steal some shit. But I, don't, I don't, wouldn't like it. How would you? I don't, I, I don't know. If I was put <laughs> in some situation where someone made me break into houses. I broke into somebody's house once. I didn't steal anything. <laughs> no, I didn't steal anything. Did you go in their house? I went into somebody else's apartment. My cousin was like, this is, we, were, we were like 13 to 15. Yeah. I was 13. He was 15. He was like, we're going to go smoke weed. My neighbor's out of town so we're just gonna go smoke in their closet what i don't know why because for are you going to get blown he didn't want to <laughs> he didn't want to get caught smoking weed so he thought it was a better. I, I didn't even think about that until now he thought it was a better <laughs> idea to fucking break into somebody else's apartment but he was like they leave their door open so we could just go in there we'll go in our closet we'll smoke weed in there and then sounds like a great way to die in a fire <laughs> <laughs> So we walked in, smoked in there, and then left. Because I didn't want to stay out for a couple minutes. No, we didn't make out. It was my cousin. Oh, that's the only reason. <laughs> no, that was it. That was the only thing holding me back. What if it was the second cousin? Then well, maybe <laughs> some light kissing, <laughs> <laughs> some hand stuff. Here's why I don't. I don't like the idea of breaking in other people's apartments because it's all kind of skeevy, like. Do you ever look in somebody else's refrigerator and even the, their condiments look like, oh my God. Yeah, it's shocking every yeah. single time. <laughs> and yet, it's not like your condiments look so great, <laughs> but other people's are really, you're like, oh, you keep this? <laughs> you're <laughs> gross. <laughs> I was in somebody's apartment recently and the fucking, the top of a ketchup bottle was broken off. And I was like, that's just, that's just wow. disgusting. This was the house you broke into. This is yeah, weed. I went back there. <laughs> I go back every year. <laughs> That's so romantic. <laughs> we actually, me and my cousin said we'd be back here in 20 years. <laughs> Here's the thing. You look at someone's condiments and you're like, oh, what's this here sauce? <laughs> what? You're so fucking disgusting. Did you know they're not using that a lot? Oh, hell no. Oh, a butter dish? That's old butter you're keeping in there. <laughs> Maybe um, we could start like a celebrity condiment thing, but we just go into a celebrity. We break into celebrities. <laughs> Yellow mustard. Okay. Stay quiet, everybody. We know Mia Farrow's away at the market, so we're going to head in through our window. It's like a non-consensual MTV Cribs. Welcome to non-consensual Cribs. Your thing sounds more like a rape, though. <laughs> We should just call it panty drawer. <laughs> I did not. I did not expect that one, man. I, no one says panty worse than you do. That just is, <laughs> could, could you say panty? Panty drawer. It's more like pantine with him. <laughs> so here's some of her. Here's some <laughs> Mia Farrow's panties. <laughs> We have to be very careful because her son already exposes me. <laughs> we don't want to be caught up in that. I just went in for some panties, but look, there's some Polaroids in the back. I guess she's been taking pictures. <laughs> really stumbled onto something here. <laughs> Oh, God. That's fucking horrible, dude. <laughs> so both you guys are fucking like second floor men. You're willing to break into a fucking place. I give you credit. <laughs> I stole a buddy's sister's drawer, uh, panties. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can say that. Your buddy's panties? No, his, my buddy had a hot sister, so I stole Older or younger? <laughs> she, was, she was older. <laughs> it doesn't matter. What she fucking looked she like. You just got her underwear. Yeah, I stole her fucking <laughs> panties. You jack into them? Yeah. 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 Were they used or were they clean? Uh, used. This was in the hamper. Like I this found oh. last weekend? No, this was years ago. <laughs> years ago. How many years ago? I would say it's like, I'm talking like 2005. So how old were you then? 
I was 22. That's too old. <laughs> too old. Is That's it? far too old. <laughs> I was, we were getting whacked out like all, fucking all day at this kid's house. I thought this was like a fun 13 year old yeah. or something. No, a confused no. boy. <laughs> yeah. No, I knew what I wanted. Not a grown man who could legally drink. Did you find a picture of her online anywhere? Can you find her Facebook? I so can can... This might take me a little time. No, I got it. nothing but time, dude. I'm dying to fucking know how fucking this. That I mean, this kid's name. Try, hold on, I got, sorry. Just say it on the air. <laughs> no, I'm not. No. <laughs> Hold on, I know how to find it. Don't say anything that's coming up on it. Please. <laughs> don't, seriously, don't. Fucking please don't. Wait, is that her? Because that says 1953. No, this was the person's parents. I'll get the last name. We call them by the last name. And then I, can find it. I was saying I did not expect to see that date written up there. He's a judge? Dude! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, if you're just tuning in, Chris Stanley stole the girl's panties and whacked into them. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, that's who the guy is. No, that's the... Oh, <clears throat> hold that's on, the... this is gonna take a couple minutes. <laughs> that's what you said. <laughs> oh! oh! Bullshit! You got him, Earl. You got that panty sniffing fucking idiot. <laughs> I can't believe the high end is this of where you're going with this. Yeah, his uh, the father. <clears throat> that's all I'm gonna say. Please don't say anything. He's else. doing very well for himself. Yeah, it was a very nice house. We were getting fucked. I was surprised up. they had dirty clothes laying around. Well, the, the daughter did. And she was 12? <laughs> no, she was like in her fucking mid 20s. <clears throat> God damn. Still living at home. Well, you know. Make you feel better about Latch myself. <laughs> Latchkey at 25? <laughs> I guess I'm a latchkey kid. <clears throat> this is going to take more time than I think. <laughs> Why can't I remember this fucking kid's name? Hold on, I'm going to text someone. <laughs> One of the names that's popped up there was Mary Jo Kopechnik. <laughs> Did you not find the name on there? No, I can't find the name. I'm, I, I have to text someone to click it. This fucking story is hilarious. You're disgusting, too, man. Let's just get that out <laughs> there. Fine. You're a creep. This is a weird thing for a 22 year old guy to be doing. Uh, I was really messed up. Back there. Like, what if you got. <laughs> I, I wish you got caught. I just wish you got caught. <laughs> It's not too late for us to contact her. <laughs> How long did you keep the panties for? I can't. I think she still has. Did you ever? Pocket. Did you ever meet her? Or you just found some panties. No, I met. I met her a number of times. Like she didn't really hang out with us, but I met her a few times. <laughs> did she seem like she dug you? I don't know. I'm surprised you didn't like rub the panties all over yourself to attract the pheromones. <laughs> Uh, you went to computer tech school. You should be good at this. I just can't remember the dude's name. Ah, okay, I got it. Somebody just wrote it back to you? Yeah. <clears throat> wow, it was close in my head. Oh. That never shows up over anybody's thing. Is that her? Oh my god. I don't think that's her. I don't think that's her. I don't think I would have stolen that girl's panties. It's not nice. You could have actually worn those. <laughs> You're not friends on Facebook? I don't think so. I don't know if I'd recognize him. Probably got a. Mutual friends? Okay, that's a good idea. Okay, mutual friends. Go to go to somebody else's. Face. You're like a hacker. Yeah, I grew up in this digital age. Uh, hey, Jason, Jason, you're on the Bennington show. Hi, Ronnie. How are you today, buddy? Good. I would like to point out that a 22 year old person who's jerking off into somebody else's underwear should probably seek professional help because that shit ain't right. That's 14 year old business right there. What's not right Fine. about it? I, I wanted something and I took it. 
it's, it's developmentally inappropriate, is my point. Oh, oh, also, I was fucked up while I did it. Does that make it better? No! <laughs> oh. You should have moved on to uh, cutting slits in posters of girls who are naked, I think, at that point. This is, like, what eventually becomes a serial killer. <laughs> Every serial yeah. killer is a fucking panty thief. Did you know that? I thought they just killed, like, uh, small animals. What? You brought up killing small animals <laughs> earlier today. <laughs> You mean a hunter? You think hunters are going to be serial killers? <laughs> I'm just going to ask if this dude who knows the sister's name, because I, I, I'm drawing blanks here. Um, hey, Brian in D.C. You have the biggest fucking creep in your employment. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is. That whole situation is like the start of a CSI SBU episode. I'm not violent. Look, you should be, you creep. Oh, please, she has plenty of patties or had or whatever. Ugh, Do you God. remember what the patties looked like? Yeah, they're a purple thong. Oh, Is that right? Here. Sounds like something a child would wear. <laughs> that was an adult. Do you know what woman. the anniversary is today? No. 25th anniversary? No. Conan O'Brien. Really? Starting a show, yeah. That you claim to be a big <laughs> fucking fan of. I didn't, know, I didn't know this was the anniversary day. You piece of shit. <laughs> David actually tweeted this. Don't tell Vito, but somehow Mission Control in Houston figures out how to get the Apollo 13 back safe. I was on my Netflix queue. You find it? Hold on. Hold on. Um, oh my, he has a kid? Uh, <clears throat> yes, people your age have children. <laughs> You're not in high school, Chris. All right, let's see. No. I know what I'm going to do. What's up with bells? I think this might be the person. Is it? <laughs> open anything with the last name. I think that could be her. That's the pig. <laughs> I can't. At the time, she was not. That's her right there. I, I, no, it's not. No. These aren't pictures of her. Did you find his Facebook? Yeah. But, but now that I'm just searching through his Facebook for yeah, anyone. But he might have pictures name. with his own sister. How do you steal somebody's panties and not remember their name? Oh, this might be it. Let me see this guy texting me, but no. Uh, we got a guest coming in. Um, do you want a break for that, Chris? Yeah, let's or break. <clears throat> is uh, she in? I have to check. Yeah, yeah, check before we break. I just looked. She is in? Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, let's plug. Uh, Vicky Cooperman is uh, coming in studio. Her newest album, Three's Comedy, is playing now on SiriusXM and is available Come on. And look at that. <laughs> it's playing now on SiriusXM and available on iTunes. Her book, How to Spy on Your Neighbor, is available in stores and on Amazon. Hey, would you make me a favor? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you don't try to steal her underwear at all. I would never all. do that. I mean, I did that one time. Is this one of them? I, she's one of them, yeah. Are you sure? I'm going to narrow it down. This is why I believe in home security to keep people like Chris out. And Ring's mission is to make neighborhoods safer. Today, over a million people use the amazing Ring video doorbell to help protect their homes.